How many... Oh. Alright. I don't know what that does for you, but for, for, for whatever reason, my pause button has suddenly started making Project 64 go full screen. And I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, I have 600 notes. But yeah, that that's basically I just wanted to let everybody know what the situation is. Cause so basically it kinda means that if if the if the situation is kinda left as is I don't think we're gonna be getting any more Banzo Kazooie ROM hacks, which really sucks, cause man I don't care how bad this this ROM hack is. At least we have it, you know. At least there's something new to play. That involves Banzo Kazooie. We don't have anything like that except for Smash. I mean, that, I mean that's, a, that's a fighting game. It doesn't really count. All right, that's six forty. Uh, wow, Space Zone. Are we gonna get new releases of Mario One Twenty Eight? Oh wait, that's <laughs> hold on, that's Space World. Moon Madness. Okay. That sounds kind of cool. What was that? Is that part of the music or was that something else? Okay, what? Hold on. What? What is this? Sir, what is this? What is a giant mess of polygons and smear textures? I don't. Is this supposed to be like a spaceship? Oh my god, it's supposed to be a spaceship. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I mean look, if you say so, I'll I'll believe you. But man, <laughs> could you have chosen something else? Other than whatever this is? All right, and of course that kind of begs the other question. How do we open this? I'm sure I'm missing something here. Oh, that's actually passively over here. There's one over here and there's one over there as well. Uh, let's see what's actually going on over here. With this very stretched out texture. Oh! Okay. Works for me. Oh, look at this! <laughs> look at this computer. That's funny. Let me write an angry YouTube comment. There, I'm done. That's the best angry YouTube comment ever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll just have the, uh... We'll just have the door pop out of the top there and, uh... You know. Just disappear. That's alright. It's fine. It, I, I don't know. It's It's like... Can he create... It's like he creates either really, really tight, compact levels. I'm gonna explore over here in just a second. Or he makes, like, really way too wide open levels. Oh, hey, look at this. Ten jiggies. Oh, this is that, uh... This is that other place that we were at and we couldn't get into. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Castle Steep. That's right. That's at the very top part that we couldn't get inside yet. Alright, I remember that. Well... That costed 10 ziggies, and this only cost- this costed 12, so... Technically, it seems like the castle is the next level, but... 
Because we're already here, we might as well just go in and do it. But a moon madness. Oh, why am I talking like that? Oh my god. Hey, I'm getting flashbacks here. I'm getting flashbacks to Banzo Dreamy. And searching for like an hour trying to find that last note. Oh, it looks like he did the same thing. He did the uh the giant box with the star as uh, stars and stuff. Hold on, what is flying by? What is that? Whoa! What is, what is that? Why are there shooting stars everywhere? Okay. Well, it looks like we get to fly through space. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, you know what? My initial impressions of this is it's pretty cool. Okay, I will say that. I like this. This is this is pretty, pretty neat. This is pretty neato. How about that? It's pretty neato. However, I'm like terrified of getting these feathers here. Okay. What is this? Oh, look at that. Sets me up perfectly to grab that, Jinjo. He even has, like, lighting on this. The, the lighting is correct. Oh, hey, look at that. Well, uh, most of the stuff is correct. That star isn't correct. But the, this pl the lighting on this planet is correct because it's facing the sun. Hey, come on, get the get get the kids some credit. This is actually kinda cool. I like this. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let me What? Alright, how am I gonna do this? There we go. I like the giant tentacle planets. That's good. Um. All right. Well, you know what? While, while, while I'm looking at it, let's go ahead and see if we can jump inside here. Did I save? I did. Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa. What? Oh no! I'm an idiot. Alright, that was cool. Hold on, I want to go back inside there. Oh man. This is cool! Look at this! I made Rainbow Road? Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. I take it back. Oh God, I take it back. Oh my God, the sound font. Oh, okay. It's it's. Oh God, there. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. It's like an elementary schooler on a recorder for like the very first time. Oh my god, that's an awful sound. This sounds alright, however. Well, okay, I don't understand. I don't I don't get what part of the song this is. Ooh, 
Oh god, the song started over. We're gonna listen to the horrible recorder. Ele elementary grade school recorder. Here we go. You guys ready for it? Oh my god. I mean, I like the idea. This is actually really cool. This is pretty cool. We got a little 8-bit Mario here, too. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God, my ears. The music is set to like 4% and it's still too loud. <laughs> oh no. After I was giving the guy some praise and then he just goes and chooses this song. Can I get on the star? I can. Okay, this is kind of weird. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. This is so bad, I might have to remember to, like, turn down the music in, like, edit in, like uh, editing. Oh, look, his, his, his eyes are something you can step on. So his eyes are a separate thing to, to stand on. All right. Woo! All right. Let's let let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm I'm ready to leave. Are you ready to leave? I'm ready to leave. Let's get out of here. Let's go through the mouth of the star. Oh my god. A for effort in that place. A for effort. However, Z minus for the uh, song choice. I don't know where you found that MIDI at, but never go there again. That was nearly unacceptable. Whoever made that MIDI, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm serious. You should be ashamed of yourself. Did I not get this? Okay, I got the... Tentacle on that planet, right? Uh... Unless, I guess let's go ahead and get the Tentacle on this planet. Yeah, I guess we'll just go around the sun to each planet here. Uh, yeah, it, it, it gives me, uh, some pretty good Banjo Dreamy vibes. Ah, come on. There we go. Yeah, it gives me some good, um... Banjo Dreamy had a few... Uh few other points in this in this space level kind of like uh it had the space ace and stuff which is i thought was pretty awesome but it's actually kind of interesting that like both the developer and the person of banzo dreamy made uh a space level uh mod developer if you're still watching me and you haven't like stopped watching me because of the last video I made. Uh, were you inspired by Banzo Dreamy to make a space level based off of that game? Let me know. I want to know if you were inspired by uh, by Banzo Dreamy to make a space level. Or if uh, this is a completely separate thing in your head.
I would like to know that information. Because for some, for, for some reason, mod developers like to make space levels. I guess they're easy to make or something. I mean, you know. You know how it is. There is a red Zinzo on the sun. Okay. Is that a hole in the sun? No. Oh god, there's a whole spaceship over there. Oh, we actually made a circle. Uh, there's an extra life. I'm gonna keep that there just so I can get my bearings. Oh my god, I completely missed that. Even though I was looking right at it. Oh my god. Dude, that tentacle monster almost sought me into space. Alright, nice. Uh, did we get everything on the planets? I gotta, I gotta fly somewhere close to him because, you know, draw distance and all. What the heck are those? Oh, those are ghosts! There are ghosts in space, guys! It's like in, uh... Oh, what's that, what's that game? Uh, Destiny. Like, in, in the first Destiny game, when your little... I, I don't remember what, the, what your little companion guy is called. But he says something like, There are space wizards on the moon! Okay, uh, let me just jump off the sun here for a second. Okay. And, like, people thought that was the most ridiculous thing ever. I, I, I remember hearing, I thought it was it was hilarious. People had a field day with that one. But then they... they they passed the line out? Like, come on. How how are you going to do that to everybody? They passed the line out where it's like, there are space wizards on the moon or something. It was something like that. It was like, oh, of course the space wizards would be on the moon. Or something like that, you know. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played Destiny 1. But I know that they, uh... They, they took that line out. And it's like, dude, really? That was hilarious. Why didn't you leave it in? But no, we had to be serious. Look, look at these guys. They got like red eyes and they're glowy with like toxic toxic waste on them or something. I don't know. Can I stand here? Okay. But I guess now there are ghosts in space. We have wizards on the moon. Oh my god. This is why I saved. We have ghosts in space and wizards on the moon. Okay, can I get this? It seems like I fell straight through last time. Alright, that was weird. Dude, the texture on this ship is awful. It's, it's like somebody just smeared dirt on it. Was there nothing? Oh my god. I really have to get that? I really have to get that. Okay. I guess so. Oh boy. Okay. I'm glad I was able to get that without any trouble. Alright. So I like this. I like the shooting stars. I, I thought the shooting stars would be like something. But, you know what? They're just some nice aesthetics in the level. They do not need to be here for any other reason other than that we're in space. Probably. I I'm guessing on that. We are missing some stuff. It's like a... We are missing like 16... Uh... We are missing like 16 uh, notes here. Hold on, let me let me check something. Let me let me make sure that going into uh,
That might be bad, actually. I don't know. I don't know why suddenly pausing is causing the game to go into full screen mode. All right. So we're like, we're missing 16 notes. Uh, I think I've been to all the planets. Where else could it be? Well, I guess we could check the edges of space, you know. That will only take a few seconds. We can check the edges of space. It will only take a few seconds. Okay. Ah, some of the stuff that you say while playing video games. I'll tell you, man. I tell you. So how, how far low can you... What the heck is that? Oh, okay. That's the calling out stuff. Oh, wow, look at this. The, we have dense stars on the right and uh, sparse stars on the left. Okay. Hey, what is that? I get inside the ship. Um. What the heck? Okay, I I can, but it doesn't do anything for me. That was weird. There's it had like the whole underside area, but I couldn't didn't do anything for me. All right, what about underneath the planets? Is there anything underneath the planets? Like maybe. He's like hitting some cheeky notes underneath the bottom of the planets or something. Like a jerk? Maybe? Hmm. No? Uh, I'm getting close enough to them that I can see there's something there. Is there anything on like, the thrusters of the ship over here? No, not really. Is there anything else on the ship that I missed? It's kind of hard to tell. But I'm not really seeing anything. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I'm having different flashbacks to uh, Banzo Dreamy, where I was trying to find that one note for like an hour. I hope I don't have to kill these guys to get into the spawn, because... Well, I guess I could kill them. Okay. Uh, that did nothing for me. Oh, actually, does standing in the sun hurt me? <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. Of course not. Why would it hurt me? You know, why would it hurt me? I'm fine. I'm the first bear to walk in the sun. The government's been lying to you. The sun isn't hot. Uh, alright. I'm gonna check the sides, and I will... Let me know if I find anything. Actually, hold on, first of all, before I do that, is there anything above us? Is there anything above the solar system? Hmm? Everybody always talks about what's around the solar system. Nobody ever talks about what's above the solar system. Well, I can go pretty high up. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't really think there is. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload that. Alright, uh, I'll go check the corners and I'll let you know if I find anything, actually. Is there, oh, there's a note on this one. You know, when I, when I found that note on. Oh, nice. I found that note on the other one. I was like, ah, I bet there's one on, on the other side. And there was. Okay. Now to check the corners. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess there is an entrance to the space of Diane C. It was on, like, the other side, too. Oh my god, look at those things! Those things are horrifying! Kudos to you! Wow. Oh my god, they have, like, red veins on them? Wow. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, I was gonna say there there must be like uh, a new place that uh that I haven't explored yet because I was missing like three jiggies and fifteen notes, so there had to be something. Oh yeah, look at this. We have uh Oh look the computer. Why well, look hey look a computer. Alright, got them the ninth Jiggy, the last Jinjo. This is the, uh, that's a UFO for in Benzo Tubi, right? Oh man, he's not in here? Alright. Okay, <laughs> I don't know where that is because, you know, everywhere else... Oh my god, I'm back here. I don't know where that is because every everywhere in the uh, lair is... Basically the, the same, so... 
Hopefully I'll run into that sooner or later. But uh <laughs> Yeah, got gotta gotta reuse those computer graphics. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ooh. Does this does this go to a new part? I guess so. This isn't gonna just dump me out of the spaceship, is it? I better not. Oh, of course, a boss. I forgot. Wait. Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Oh look, the Jiggy! Okay. Uh, hello? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're not gonna talk about how these boxes look, Kazooie! Uh -huh. What- what happened? What happened with these guys? Why do they look like that? Did their textures really get that messed up that, uh... That's how they ended up looking? I mean, I guess so, but still. Alright, uh, that's- that's everything in this level, isn't it? No, wait, it's not. Uh, shoot, alright. Uh, I'm missing four notes. I'm missing four notes. What? What do you mean? Blah. There is an invisible note there? What? Okay. For some reason, he wanted to include an invisible wall right here. Uh, okay. Alright, fine. You know, I found it somehow. I thought it was... Of course, uh, obviously, I thought it was a... Uh, I thought it was a uh, note that has like that was like stuck in the wall, but uh, you know I guess I guess he purposely made an invisible wall to hide those last four notes when he's never done anything like that else in the game. Okay, um, oh there we go. All right, so I I already went over here. That unlocked the castle level. Um, I'm gonna stop for now, and I'm gonna see if I can get this pausing issue worked out, because, uh... I'm pretty sure every time it makes a full screen and it makes a small screen, uh... It creates a new recording file. Which is gonna make it a pain in the butt to edit this, but... It shouldn't be that bad. So, uh... Yeah, I guess let's... Actually, let's go ahead and leave out of here. Yeah. Alright, uh, I guess next time we'll make our way back up and go into the, into the castle level. Yeah, um... I'm, I'm, I was really impressed with the... With the, with the space level. Like, I, I, I liked it. I liked the detail of, uh... Of the lights facing the, uh, the lights on the planet is facing the sun. And, uh... Yeah, I like that. I like exploring that kind of stuff, but... Didn't like the invisible wall bits, and I didn't like the music in the Rainbow Road area. Otherwise, hey, you know what? I liked it. It was pretty cool. 
All right, I'll see you guys next time.